Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Anybody? Anybody? Well, good morning, everyone, and I hope you are having a fabulous hump day. One hump or two, today is the day. It's your choice. Now, today is a special announcement day. Before I get into my readings, I wanted to let you know that uh, before um, I release our next video, uh, I'm going to do a, a drawing. I don't know when I'll announce that drawing, at the night of the video or, or what, but uh, yeah, there's going to be a drawing. I want someone to... Uh, be creative and make us up a logo that I will uh, put into the start of the beginning of our next video. Now it can be a, a regular picture or it can be uh, a moving GIF file. If you wanted to uh, be a little bit more creative with something a little bit longer, that'd be fine. Um, let me see. Here's a picture of uh, just a general idea. I want you all to pick out your own your own picture, your own background your own print type, the font, you know, whatever. It just has to be, like it says here, Terry and Al, spirit stalking. It has to read that. And that's all I need. If you want to get creative and do a moving, a little short moving GIF file, it has to be a GIF file, G-I-F file. And I may also use that logo, too, at later points. It's hard to tell. I switch off a lot. So all you creative people out there, or even if you're not, if you don't think you're creative, you might, you might surprise yourself. Some people have a lot of creativity, and they just don't, don't recognize it. <clears throat> but I want you all to think on that and start pulling something together. And, oh, I didn't tell you. There will be a, a prize for the best entry into this logo contest. And that is a deck of the Le Normand fairy tale oracle cards. Let me show you the picture up a little bit closer. Um, unfortunately, because of shipping costs, I can only afford to send this out, uh, to someone here within the United States. Um, if someone outside of the, the States would like to, to get them, uh, maybe we can work out something about postage. I don't know. Um, but I know it, it gets really expensive but 
the cards are free. Just, uh, yeah, submit your uh, your best entry. And that's all it takes. Be creative. And kind of uh, also consider our style when you make these. Okay. Try to think of something that would match us, fit our, our profile, our, you know, little dark, maybe a little, uh, little twisted, maybe. Unusual. Try to be original. Because we, uh, we love originality. It could even be something old approached to in a new different way a little bit of humor added is always good just uh, let your mind roll and see where it takes you all right and tell your friends about the contest too if you, you know if uh you think they might be, these are unopened, un, unsealed, untouched, just for, for the winner. So if anyone's looking for a deck, I just need some creativity. That's all. And like I said, you'll be uh, featured in uh, the start of our next video. You're... Uh, your logo will be shown at the very beginning of our next video. All right. So be creative, be original, and I'll let you know where to send those to me. Um, maybe tomorrow or so. Uh, anyway, good luck. And don't forget to pass me on one of these, too, while you're here watching, please. Birdie, please. Anyway, let's uh, get on to this reading now. Uh, I want to show you all a picture of something I got, Albert. Just because he's been under so much pressure. I, I saw this. This ring. See he's a Scorpio. And he loves. Scorpion things. And. Uh, I just saw this. Green not so much. But. Uh, I don't think the stone will matter. I think you'll love it. Anyway, here's our card. Okay, you got the the three of coins, also known as the three of pentacles. Now, this card's association is with the Earth. The astrological association is Mars and Capricorn. Numerologically, it's the number three. Uh, the tree of life position is Bana, the sphere of understanding. Key meanings are enterprise and success. This is the, the, the tarot of work. Okay. The job. Something you've been working on. You're going to be rewarded with that. 
it's it's telling you it's time to let your talents shine in public enter that contest and uh let your talents shine in public and when it comes to the household and family and stuff uh this can predict building or improvements uh on your home or putting maybe property up for sale uh it's also a good card for uh creative people um predicting that projects will be finished and appreciated uh and the work may also be displayed in a public place so if you are entering that contest this this card's definitely for you this is sometimes called the architect um which means you established a lasting enterprise a, a project that uh, causes you to stand head and shoulders above uh, friends and enemies alike of course the downside is is as you succeed and become visibly successful there's a touch of envy that you may sense around you uh, it may also feel uncomfortable as you're not used to uh, any negative attention uh, this is uh, jealousy um, but it's uh, transitory and will not dent your confidence or harm your progress detractors can only make you stronger remember that but this card is all about mastery and perfection it's a good card for undertaking self-improvement projects and for learning new things which is not limited to life's lessons now let's pull a rune card i'm using the wiccan runes this morning and we have now uh, this rune is in regards to woman uh and, and creativity once again creativity wow yep creativity is high in the air today i see and i'm not saying that i this is all unplanned this is just non-scripted here uh this has nothing to do with my contest <laughs> this is wild this is a negative rune but uh I think it's just to polarize in a way. I'm sorry, I think even the Wiccan runes though are a bit sexist. They they kind of look at a woman as a negative thing and the male as a positive thing. But that's in a very passive way because I mean, nothing about this rune is bad it's nurturing it's the birth of something new it's cleansing energy it's it's good it's a good rune they just make it because it's as the opposite of man and that's the only reason as far as i can tell so yes anyway i'm off my soapbox there um this is all a positive reading forget that room bit this is all a positive reading it's a creative time get out there and show your creativity it's something new is going to change uh something you've been working hard on is going to come about good stuff is coming maybe a plan you've been trying to formulate you know you'll finally get it figured out and know exactly what you'll have to do stuff's gonna come working itself out it's like things have been kind of in a knot and it's finally going to just flow those not knots are just gonna fall apart 
Okay. So, whoo, it's a good hump day. <laughs> Normally, Wednesdays aren't known to be a great day, but uh, I think it's a good day, folks. And it's sunny here, and it's going to be somewhat warmer. It's 79 right now at 844. So, it's going to get warmer just as the day progresses. So, I hope you all have a blessed Wednesday. Be creative, be positive. Get out there and uh, shine today. Today's your day to shine. All right. So peace. Believe because the spirits are out there. And until tomorrow, may you have a blessed Wednesday. Bye-bye, y'all. Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Guess what day it is? Everybody? Everybody?